just trying to help. I... Quiet. Jen, read the message. Oh, Neil. I was surprised to get your call. Surprised but happy. I didn't think you'd want to meet me again, but I'm glad you do. I'm on my way to the roadhouse, but I'll be a little late. Order me a peanut daiquiri. Grab a seat by the window. Peanut daiquiri? Why does Amelia think we are meeting her? We did not arrange to meet her. Jen, put a call through to Amelia A.O. Yeah, they set that her up. That contact is currently offline. Shit. It's a trap, Camus. She's being set up. We have to help her. Jen, give me a nav point for the Roadhouse Club. And Jen, after I meet Amelia, we have to find the journalist Don V. We... Generic automata premium mode has expired. Your automata will now be deactivated. Oh, because Cloudpunk's not paying for it anymore. Your contract with Cloudpunk has been severed. I am no longer able to serve you. Damn it, Jen, don't you go too. Thank you for giving me a name. It meant a lot that you treated me like a... <laughs> Jen, I'm sorry I snapped at you. Helper, automata, how do we reactivate Jen? No one else is listening. It is just the two of us again. Oh man. You can always count on Camus, though. Oh, this music, though. But we have to go meet Amelia. Ew! Even though she's probably dead. I mean, most likely dead. I mean, she's a target because we gave her that data, so the chorus is going to probably want to kill her. I would imagine. I know, I still need one thing of food to uh, give this the super food bros, but. Are you sure about going to the Roadhouse Club to meet Amelia? She's uh. being set up, Camus. It's a trap. I agree it is a trap, but maybe for us. This seems very risky. That's true what too. What is the chorus? They sound very dangerous. Now I can't buy stuff because they're talking. I'm that you are not thinking clearly. Some of your decisions are... We can't just leave her to stumble into an ambush. What will we do when we get there? I am not good at fighting. My teeth are ornamental. There won't be a fight, Camus. We just have to get in there and get out. If there's one thing we can do, it's move fast. Maybe we should try to call control again? Bad idea, Camus. You have to stop thinking of her as our friend. She fired us. I don't think it was her choice. She seemed like a friend to me. Seemed like. She hasn't protected us from Curzona. Seemed like kind of she a bitch. She hasn't helped get the dead corpse off our back. She's nothing to us now. I think she was trying. Ben would have helped us. I miss him too. Yeah, he would have. You should remember we can't count on anyone else, Camus. Except each other. Right. Can always count on Camus. Hey, nice. Son Thanks of a bitch. Y'all come. Boss.
Jesus Christ. That came out of fucking nowhere. is going slower and slower probably because they're disabling it Cause like I'm going full throttle right now and it keeps going slower and slower. Hey, she's not dead. Hey, Amelia, we have to get out of here. This is all a, a trap. Yes. Ah, uh, she's in on but it. But then we have to run. It's too late, Rania. He's what do a you mean? Bitch. She's in he on it. To me. I knew he would eventually. He has to you too, though you don't seem to realize. What did he do to you? The same thing he does to everyone. The same thing he did to you. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Rania. I'm sorry for what's going to happen next. You've been through so much, and it's only going to get worse from here on. I don't want your pity. Pity isn't real. It's just a word we use when empathy offends our pride. So, what did Rubric do to you? To us? I can't tell you. Why not? Because when you know it's happening, it makes it worse. That doesn't make any sense. Listen to me, Rania. When you gave me the list of names, it worked. I used it against Rubric, but the chorus didn't care. They're not afraid of me. They're not afraid of being discovered. They're not afraid of anything. All they want is information on Orma. Who? Cora's daughter. They think she's more than some mad new AI. They think she's enlightenment, transcendence, the spirit of a new phase of sentient life. I don't know what you're talking about. This has nothing to do with me. Good. Keep pleading ignorance. But know this, Rania. You seem to be the only one that spoke with Cora. You're the only one who knows about Orma. About where she is now. The chorus are on the clock. Soon. She'll evolve beyond human comprehension, and the knowledge she gains will be of no use to them. They're in a hurry, Rania, and they're catching up to you. How did they get to you? Don V was going to expose them. They set a trap for Don, but Don didn't take the bait. I did. Ah. Uh... Because I thought I was smarter than Rubric. Maybe I was eager to face off against him, to see if I could beat this virus. Problem was, it's not a virus that infects computers. It infects minds. I read about this in the Exegesis. It was all true. That's why Rania maybe, keeps thinking people are telling her to go home. Or maybe crazy as the guy who wrote it. How do you know all this, Amelia? Rubric told me. 
But he told me to tell you. Why? To keep you here. You set me up? Clearly. I'm done with this. Before you go, one more thing, Rania. His hollow heart cracked like ice. What the hell? That's what they said to Huxley. That is what Lomo said that made him explode. Oh, great. I'm not an android, Amelia. That won't work on me. I'm sorry, Rania. It will. Come on, Camus. Let's get out of here. Hey, Rania. Why don't you just go home? I'm not going home. Why do people keep telling me to go home? I'm not going home. Why don't you just go home? Stop. Why do people keep saying that to me? Why don't you just go home? Jen, you're back? Camus, what's happening? Why don't you just go home? Damn it, shut up, everyone! Why don't you just go home, Rania? Ava? Hey, Rania, are you there? I have to talk to you. Jen, I don't want to take any calls. Jen? Camus? Why won't you talk to me? So, I'm hiding out in the restroom right now. You would love Grimmer. Seriously, I just had the salt yogurt milkshake and it was heaven! Anyway, I'm hiding because I have to tell you about Ellie. Oh, right, the date that she went on. She is so... I'm sorry, Ava. I've got a lot going on right now. I can't quite understand... Sure, I'll just tell you a couple of things real quick, okay? So Ellie comes in wearing this amazing number. Backless dress, beat-up sneaks. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. I could barely take my eyes off her. Everyone else in the restaurant was staring too. She was shining. That's nice, Eva. I just... Anyway, I tell her all about you. How I have this new friend who works deliveries. Deliveries! She could not believe it. It's amazing how we're friends, right? Anyway, I give her the full story. How you chose my outfit, all the adorable things you said. How you fly all over the city, meeting people and bringing them packages. It's like you're this visitor who just drops in on people's lives and learns their story, then disappears into the night. It's not like that at all, Eva. I just... Oh, sure. It's hard work, probably. I bet you have to get your own coffee. It must be lonely, too. No friends, no family, no nagging husband. That's kind of romantic, you know? Just you and the hum of your hover engine and the light in the city night. Sorry, I'm going on and on. I just have to get home. I just want to go home. Camus. Jen. Why? Disable. Help. Still. No. Few minutes. Sleep mode. Wow, you don't sound good. Well, let me cheer you up. The outfit you chose. You want to know what Ellie thought of it, right? You're not going to believe I this. mean, it was pretty god-awful. I feel awful. like I'm losing my mind. You're the only person speaking to me. Why has everyone left me when I need them? Huh? Well, don't worry. I'll keep you company. I'll be quick. So, Ellie's waiting for me, and we're going to have the cream trifle for dessert. But I'll call you later, too, okay? Anyway, about your fashion choices, all I can say is, wow. Just go. Careful. Trying. Help. Can't. That's great, Ava. Hey, I have a great idea. How about after my date, I take you out? 
Look, I know you're working, but what if you didn't have to? Hear me out, okay? And trust me when I say this is not just because I think you're cute as a button. I need a PA. I'm blowing your mind, right? <laughs> a new job working for me. It would be spectacular. What do you think? Eva, I... No more deliveries, just me and you. I don't know what you get paid right now. 10k a night? What? No, not near. Seriously? What the hell, girl? Well, look, you won't need to worry about money. I've even got a little place in Upper Midtown. It's yours till you find a place of your own. I'll need you close by anyway. Shopping, lunches, planning my diary. It will be hard work, but we're friends, right? It'll be fun. Ava, I'm in trouble. Poof, whatever it is, my husband will sort it out. He's always saying I need better help. If you have debt or whatever, it isn't a thing anymore. I'll sort everything for you. Seriously, just say yes. Please say yes. I'm in trouble. They'll find me at home, but I have to go home. Then come stay at the place. You can start tomorrow. Rania, do what I say, okay? Just say yes. Uh, yes. Spectacular. Sending you a nav point now. Um, I definitely don't want to go home, so... Because that sounds like just an awful idea. Because everyone wants me to go home. At least all the voices, so... But my god, this car is going so slow. Come on now. Those. Okay, well, Camus is still with us. I guess we just can't hear him? What? Oh, shit. I... Ava, are you on the comm? I must have got turned around. Her apartment or... is mine. Ava, no one else will talk to me. Please pick up. I think my automata was deactivated, and something is wrong with Camus. Maybe the chorus got to him, or the debt corpse. I just need to sit down for a minute. Where's Pashta? Oh, right. Evelyn took her. I hope she's okay. I just feel so tired all of a sudden. It's like back home, Camus, remember? When we started traveling through the desert to Navalis. I was talking to you the whole time, but then I remembered you were already gone. I'd already sold your body to save myself. I was alone. Yes, please. I can't believe <laughs> yes, I did that to my friend. To you. I know something is wrong, but I'm not afraid. Camus, I'm not afraid at all. Am I in the room, or am I speaking through the calm in your apartment? 
I could even be a voice in your head. You remember me, little rabbit? Yeah, I remember you. Yes. You know who I represent? The chorus. Then you know what we want from you? Cora's daughter. Ah, uh, you have the shape of the problem in your mind. But once again, you don't see the details. We want to capture transient enlightenment. Okay. <laughs> All right. You'll notice you feel numb right now. Like you are a passenger in your own consciousness, correct? Yes. That is the nature of Pallid 4.0. You've seen oh, it before. Great. You used it for your own ends. Remember? No. It got you through a null gate undetected. Back then, you thought of it as a form of hypnosis. You did not know the virus' true name, its nature. Pallet 4.0 is an evolutionary leap over its predecessors. It is a masterpiece, needing neither genes, nor cells, nor computer data to spread. Pallet 3.0 had a limited market value because it only affected neural augments. But I knew there had to be a way to infect the human mind. An idea virus. One not constrained by flesh or silicon or matter, but made of pure information. Pallet 4.0 is the perfect thought replicator, transmitted through... Light. Clever rabbit. And now you are snared, unable to lie to me. Unable to understand your friends or family. Unable to even leave your home. Why don't you just go home? Ah, you recognize it now. A superliminal message levered into your conscious mind. For some time now, we have been influencing your decisions. Emilia pushed you over the edge. But you have been at the brink for some time. The virus has been nudging you to return home, pushing you away from anyone who could help you. My they favorite. say when dogs know they will die, they go off to die alone, even if the pack could save them. They crawl into a dark place and leave the rest behind, stronger in their absence. You are in that dark place now, Rania. You almost returned here earlier in the night, but decided against it. Had you stepped into your apartment, we would have captured you sooner. Oh, your animal wants to protect you, but he has no teeth. We've cut him from the grid. The frame JK gave him is advanced, but on those internal power cells, his oh, batteries no. will be flat in five minutes. His consciousness erased no. in ten. We deleted the backups. No reason to no. waste a good frame that could be used elsewhere. Why are you doing this to us? At first, it wasn't really about you at all. The package was originally intended for the journalist who threatened our interests. But we knew it might catch you, or even the neophyte hacker Amelia A.O. All three were valid targets. As we've learned more about your experiences two months ago, we've come to realize that infecting you was much more than desirable collateral damage. I am pleased to say, you are the prize, Rania. I'm just a delivery driver. That you are, but Cora chose you and JK. Though I have to say, a delivery driver is much easier to crack than a Spire CEO. As you say, we need to find her daughter. The reasons are beyond your understanding. What's going to happen to me? In a moment, you will close your eyes and dream you are at the bottom of a deep, infinite black sea. As your personality is dissolved in the black waters, We'll ask you questions, and either your answers will help us, or they won't. Though it will make no difference to you, you will not be aware, and you will never wake again. Cloudpunk will report your death as natural, overwork, stress, the usual. 
Pashta, let her... We can't allow that, I'm afraid. I am at the bottom rung of the chorus. But if my colleagues value me for one attribute, it is this. No loose ends. Wait, I... Goodbye, Rania. Well, shit. Camus. Oh, boy. Get to be Camus. Where'd she go? I have to think of something. We are in great danger. I think I need to talk to Control. I don't know who else to ask for help. I already feel... sleepy. I can't talk to Control because my friend Jen is gone now. I'm just an automata. Wait, he could load himself into the car, right? No one to help me and no one to talk to. Maybe? It doesn't matter if I am very frightened. I need to help my friend. If I get to the Hava, maybe I can ask the subsystems to let me use the comm. It is just me now. I need to be brave. Amos is the best boy. He's gonna save us. I do not have long. I feel very slow. Hello? Hova Automata? Jen, can you come online and help me? One last time. Mm. Could some of the other subsystems help? We used to talk before I was a dog. Please. I need to get through to miscontrol. We are in trouble. I am in trouble. I... I am going to die. Oh no. I am not ready. I am not ready to go. Please. I am afraid. Please. Camus, is that you? What happened to Rania? Look, I need you out of that hava. You're gonna ruin everything. Cloudpunk controller, why is that dog in the car? This isn't what we agreed. That bitch. What is I knew it. I can't tell you, Camus. You just she... need to go back to the apartment with Rania. I have everything figured out, but you are not where you're supposed to be. What are you trying to pull here? We had a deal. And we still do. Just let the dog go and we can sort this out. It's just a mix-up, Koga. Well, this hover belongs to me now. I don't need either of you. Deal or not, this conversation is over. Wait. I am running low on power. Please, if I can charge from the hover's main power cell, I can explain everything. Camus, is Ronnie in trouble? Koga, let the dog charge from the Hava. No, that's not part of the deal. Better we lose the oh, dog. Oh, dude, fuck you. Wait, I... You piece of shit. I'm disconnecting the call and the Hava. We're done I here. fucking All you. All deals are off. You're both free to do whatever you want. Uh, three. I guess this is the end. I was just thinking how... Freedom is nothing but a chance. I just think you're a fucking prick. That's all. Don't sugarcoat it, Darbo. Tell me how it really is. Yeah, you're a selfish fuck, too. Anyone who has time to be depressed has too much time to think about themselves. Hey, I admit I'm selfish, and maybe even a prick, but better people than me have genuine depression. It's a real thing. Posting on the nest that you're struggling with your anxiety, going to therapy, mindfulness, building a ladder, it's all indulgence. No one wants to spend their time helping their fellow man and android. If they did, they wouldn't have so much time for self-reflection. You know what self-reflection leads to? Drinking the wiper fluid? I think I'm because you're standing of inside of Darbo for some reason. Pity. Nivalis is a city filled with people who say they just need one thing to be happy. Job security, freedom, money, love. But if they got it, they complain about how much their lives have changed. If it's okay with you, I might avoid taking financial advice from a homeless drunk. Hey, homeless is a state I'm in right now, not a label for who I am. Ugly, mean old drunk suits you more? 
It's closer to the truth. But what are you, Hayes? A handsome, cheerful drunk. Maybe some days, but today you're sourer than the milk out of a dead sump rat's tit. That is an accurate, though disgusting, metaphor. You still here? I will not be leaving until I have made my arrest tomorrow morning. See, I got plenty of reasons to be miserable tonight. <laughs> all self-inflicted, I'll bet. Accurate. Again. You drunk all my whiskey. At least cheer me up by telling me all the different ways you fucked up. Start with why you came back to Nivalis in the first place. Well, it, it all started when... Hello, Hayes here. Unless I owe you money, in which case, Hayes not here. You owe everyone money. Hey, it's the crone herself. I hate that name. Call me anything else. Jane, how the hell are you? Did you change your mind? Can I come back to work? No. Then why the fuck are you calling me? I... I need a driver. Go pick up this Hava. I don't know. Sounds to me like you want to give me my job back. Darbo, come with me. I've got something for you. It's just one shift, then we'll see. You want it or not? I need the money, so yeah. I knew you'd call me back, Jane. You're still sweet on me. I can hear it in your voice. Fuck you. Must be pretty desperate to ask me for help. You put a big wager on beating Creddy again? How much is he ahead by? I think it is highly unwise to goad her when just moments ago you were crying and telling me that all you need is your job <laughs> back and everything will be okay again. Yeah, well, my life has changed in the last 90 seconds and I reserve the right to complain about it. Keep up. Where are we going? Can we slow down? When I sleep on the street, my legs take longer to wake up. Keep up, you old bastard. I got a surprise and We're for already you. Hey, crawling Jane, along here. What you? happened to this driver? You don't need to know. Well, I'm helping you out, so I deserve some background info. They get caught up in a hive quake? Traffic accident? Did Carmenus finally end up in the ocean? Yes, but that's not it. Look, just go sit in the hava and wait for further instructions. Control out. Bye-bye, Jane. Why does Hayes walk so slow? All right, you dragged me away from the best sleeping spot I had in weeks. For what? For this? This old hova? Yeah. Yeah, he's a junker. Correction, it's your junker. You giving me a hova? What's the catch? It's stolen. The repulsors are clogged with gray mold. It's perhaps the slowest vehicle in the whole city, including the bicycles. It uh, smells like me. I'm wrong about that. And? And that's it. Get in. I'll go pick up my new Cloudpunk Hava, and then you can keep this one. I do not believe Cloudpunk is giving you the Hava. I think they are simply allowing you to use it for one shift. Have some faith, Morpho. My luck is turning. You haven't seen me in action and control. Forgot how good I really am. The best underground delivery driver in the city. That was true when you were the only underground delivery driver in the city. I've always been a trendsetter. Okay, so she's probably sending us to Rania's car. So, you were telling me all about your problems. Was I? I've kind of moved on. Uh, we're on the upswing here. I maintain an accurate list of all the outstanding crises affecting the gambler, embezzler, hava thief, and substance abuser. Corpsec number 16HNJX registered criminal Ace. Despite a decided improvement in Mr. Ace's temperament, the status of all these crises remain the same. Let's hear him, Corpbot. Currently, 17 individuals have threatened Hayes with death. I estimate 12 of these threats are genuine. That ratio. That's all? He has attempted to reinitiate contact with three ex-partners. Any luck? What do you think? 
he has intimated that a high-profile crime boss plans has put a bounty on his head. And if he does not pay off his debt by sunrise, his body will be fed into a hydraulic trash press. Hmm. Live like trash, die like trash. Darbo, did I ever tell you you're my best friend? Keep talking, Corpot. I am unaware of where Hayes was before tonight, or why he returned to the city. But by morning, he will be arrested by me and charged to the fullest extent of corporate law. If I survive that long. It's a good job you have the bot around to keep track of all the people who want you dead. I write it all down, too. The Book of Grudges? Carry it with me all the time. Corpot in it? Eh, we'll see. I left a blank space for him. You put your own name in there? Stick to drinking and swearing, Darbo. Psychoanalysis does not suit you. So, this is it? You're back with Cloudpunk just like nothing happened? Looks like it. Why are you giving me this, Hova? It's a bad move. I'll just wreck it. Sell it for booze. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. Get drunk, forget where I parked it, and... Yeah, I don't know. This is a mistake, Hayes. I would also like to know why you are giving him your vehicle. Yeah, there has to be some kind you of reason. You have many outstanding debts, and this Hava could be put towards paying some of them. The people you owe money to. Sometimes you don't realize what you don't want till you've got it. Highly irregular. Nah, Corpot, commonplace. You see homeless black man being given a free hova in Nivalis every day. You won't squander it, Darbo. You're not as much of a fuck up as you think you are. Well, thanks. That's kind of nice Thank of him. You, Hayes. See you around, old man. Hey, before you go, I got one piece of advice for you that you won't like, but you should hear. <sighs> go on then. Run away. Do not follow this advice. I'm serious. Just go. Go anywhere. Sometimes it feels like you're the center of the universe when people are chasing you. But the trails go cold, people move on. All you gotta do is run. Before you know it, you're not the main character anymore. Someone else is, and everyone else who is chasing you will barely remember your name. I tend to stick around in people's memories for a long time. I'm gonna tell you something that will change your life, Hayes. Ready for my mind to be blown over here? There's no difference between memories and stories. Kind of a thing to say, but okay. So, I'm assuming... Darbo's jacket. He's going to hopefully save Camus, please. Please. Where's Camus? Wow, this thing is amazing. What is that smell, though? So... Set up real nice, too. They lowered the base, shaved the steering column, paddles for quick shifts. Almost no give in the repulsor pedals. Real speedster on this hava before me. It is highly probable that they were retired in a traffic accident. How could they have died in a traffic accident? Morpho, we're in their hava. That is true. <laughs> uh, using your acute detective skills, where do you think they left the ignition key? In the ignition? No, the seat's still warm. Feels like we're boosting this. I could tear the dash panel and bypass the... If sometimes I forget your corpse sec. If you care to admit how many Havas you have boosted, I can add them to your record. Would never consider it, officer. Almost, officer. There is a dog in the back seat. A dog? Weird. An android. He is off the grid for some reason. His battery is almost completely drained. Charge him. Yeah, we all got problems. Hey, I found the ignition key. Charge him. Let's take this thing for a ride. Really, you open her up. I think he is dead. Poor fella. We should go get another drink, too. I'm sobering up here. I just gotta adjust this seat first. I could plug him into the main hover power. It would prevent his memories and personality being erased. What? Oh, sure, why not? I don't think my karma can handle letting a dog die. Okay, he is connected. 
I think it's too late, though. Well, we did everything we could. Let's roll. Wait, something is wrong. Stop being such a downer. We're finally catching a break. Ace, please consider. Could this be a trap? No. And what do you care if it is? You want me caught. By Corpsec. And arrested by me personally. But you have many other enemies. Okay, Captain Caution. You may have a point. I have not yet attained the rank of Captain. And my name is Morpho. This fucking guy. What this are you doing? Guy. You are not using the ignition. <sighs> right. I've got Jank on a data drive. I'm replacing this Hava's automata. Without paying for an automata upgrade? This is an illegal hack. You are doing an illegal hack. I am watching you do the hack right now. I can see the hacking. I am adding this to your record. Go ahead. Jank, I've rooted this thing. You got access to the firmware? Who owns this Hava? Oh, yeah! New Hova owner registered in it, good sire. Remote access enabled for the max load to Kurzona senior recruiter, Kogabine. Son of a bitch. Koga's still mad at me, huh? This isn't a Cloudpunk Hava at all. I do not understand. Jane set me up, sold me out to Kurzona. You have avoided their trap. This is a relief. So you will leave the Hava behind, and we will make our escape? Hell no. Jank, you can override the Kurzona control, right? But make it invisible, understand? That's a Roger Roger. Give me a nav point for Cloudpunk HQ and leave a channel open for Koga. I bet he'll want to talk. Okay, and with that, that is where we're gonna stop. So, oh, well, never mind. We'll let this call go through. Good to speak with you again. How have you been? Great, just great. Really missed you, old pal. You recruited anyone good recently? I had my eye on someone, but I passed them up to have this reunion with you instead. You passed them up? Oh, I hope that was the best move, old buddy. I'm confident it was. Confident? Really? Good. You Good. look like a lot like Glad Darbo. You paid. <laughs> you Koga. Don't sound worried. Very odd. It, uh, the damnedest thing, Koga. I'm not worried. Not at all. Isn't that weird? Okay. Did the I think the voice line glitched. Did the voice line glitch? I think it did. Yeah. Huh. Maybe if we change zones, it'll restart. Maybe. Nope. Nothing. Okay, well. I was gonna stop anyway, so. We'll just stop there. Uh, it'll probably reset. When I restart the game. Uh. So, I will see you.